What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. Man, I, I can't believe two weeks from tomorrow, from tomorrow, the NFL season kicks off. I got so much work to do, it's not even funny. I'm trying to get myself together, get my deck together, get my studio together. I'm trying to make sure I got, damn, make sure I got all of uh, my, my, my microphones together and trying to get the sound quality and the video quality, all of these things optimized because <laughs> we need football more than anything else. Because I gotta tell you, we are literally going crazy out here, you know. People who've been friends and things like that are at each other's throats, you know. The, it feels like the world's coming to an end, and I'm hoping that football and sports will be able to bring us back together. Uh, I'm sitting here looking because I, I see two frogs right here. There's a couple of frogs that are right here. And you remember last night during my, my fireside chat, I had the locust that decided to commit suicide on air. He literally flew around, landed on the tabletop, walked his happy ass across the blue rocks, and then jumped into the fire. I, it, was it was the craziest thing I have ever seen. Um, also too, Dan Snyder has responded to the article from the Washington Post and saying that, hey, the buck stops here with me. Um, basically, I'm not responsible for any of the stuff that happened, but it's underneath of me, so I'm gonna clean it up. So we'll see what comes of all that but that's not my issue but here's today it, it's quiet because the cowboys aren't on the practice field today you know we have the uh directives from the nfl where we're not allowed to have more than three days in a row with practice trying to mitigate the amount of injuries that are going on and we're beginning to see people getting hurt uh Le'Veon bell supposedly had a, a hamstring issue um, that he left practice i think the bears running back was carted off the field um, so you know they're trying to keep these injuries to a minimum as we get ready for the season I don't know if you are surprised or not but when Sunday was around and Earl Thomas was released you know all the talking heads said you know that he'll probably get signed you know at four o'clock was the time that he was actually able to start negotiating and talking to the team and here we are Wednesday three days later or is it four days? Monday, Tuesday, yeah, three days later, and nothing. We haven't heard about any teams that have been in contact with them. The only thing we've heard, of course, is um, the Dallas Cowboys weren't interested until Jerry Jones says that the buck stops with him, and he makes the final decision on those things. Well, regardless, the Cowboys haven't made a decision on that one. And to me, if you were going to kick the tires, bring him in, Today would have been the day to do it because you don't have practice for the players. So that gives you a little extra time. And you also have to look at this from a time standpoint because you're off today. You have practice on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, off Sunday. And you're beginning to input your game plan together for the ramp. So if you signed him now, he's still got to go through three days of coronavirus testing before he can basically get into the Cowboys bubble. So now you're talking about if they sign him today, he wouldn't be able to practice till next Monday. And you're talking about a lot of valuable time that's being wasted. But here's my thing. I don't think that the Cowboys would sign him because of the issues on the field, or excuse me, off the field, well, I guess and on the field as well, that there's too many red flags. but. Sometimes you got to read between the lines about what's being said. And Mike McCarthy basically kind of threw it away or, or, or just kind of deflected on it and basically said, you know, that's not really my decision, but I'm happy with the people that I have. That's the key. I'm satisfied with the people I have here on the team right now. And he also talked about chemistry. Okay? So when you think about Earl Thomas and you think about the bridges he burned, with Seattle and now that he never in the course of a year got along with Baltimore which was a team that was a playoff team so you have to start wondering 
is he going to be a problem? And that's one of the other things that you got to put in here is, well, it's like buying a car. You don't want to buy a car when your car broke down and you got to go to work tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? When you have a car that's running good, you're not so worried about it. You can take your time and make a wise decision. You're not pressured about, I got to get to work tomorrow. I need something to drive. So let me just go ahead and get something right now. Well, that's where we are right now because right now they signed Clinton Ha Ha Dix, a guy who Mike McCarthy was familiar with. But Clinton Ha Ha Dix hasn't wowed him. In fact, Darian Thompson has been looking really good to the point where he may be the starter. Let me say that again. Darian Thompson is looking really good and may be the starter. He is basically taking Clinton Ha Ha Dix's spot. Now, here's the way you look at it. If Darian Thompson is good enough to take Clinton Ha Ha Dix, a guy who's been starting every year of his career, you're looking at basically an upgrade over where you were last year with Jeff Heath with a guy who's got experience as a backup. Darian Thompson is making chicken feed. Darian Thompson is making chicken feed. And even if you could get Earl Thomas for a discounted rate, let's say seven, eight million dollars, you're not paying that much to Darian Thompson. Now you're talking about bringing in a guy who has got problem, who's had problems in recent history over the course of the last two years with getting along with teammates on two different teams. Remember, when he got injured, he flicked off the whole Seattle Seahawks team. Yeah, he did that. He disrespected his teammates by coming to another team's locker room and saying, come get me. What if your girlfriend went over to your boy's house and said, hey, come get me? How would you feel about that? How would you feel about that? Would you be like, the fuck? What are you doing? And then the fact that he went to get his car washed instead of going to a team meeting and maybe he just didn't want to be in Baltimore which I can understand but then why did you take that contract and that money you know a man as Scarface would say a man that's not worth his word is a cockroach so the Cowboys may look at him they may think about it but they're not desperate right now because again their cars not broke down and you've got a difference in philosophy with players because I see what we're doing on defense better suited for guys like Xavier Woods. Xavier Woods, when you looked at his college film, is a guy who is attacking the football. He's not a bend, don't break type guy. And it may be that Darian Thompson, now having the opportunity to play, is more of that aggressive type style guy. And also, the final piece I'll put in here is, when you've got a pass rush like we may have, a front seven that's as good as you think, you don't need to have a back end that's quite as good because they're not going to have to hold up for seven, eight seconds like we have in the past. So all of these issues together points to Earl not being here. The big question is, will Earl Thomas get a job? And I'm beginning to have doubts on that one. I, I really am. Because you you know you look at um, Cleveland, and I doubt that he wants to go to Cleveland. But Cleveland losing their safety, you figure they pick up the phone and call him. But so far we've heard nothing. So that's where we are with that. And um, right now, I think these guys are hungry. I'm trying. Uh, normally when I do these videos here at the pond. I just used the speaker on the, or the microphone that's on my cell phone. I'm trying today with the wire, I mean the lavalier mic to see if the sound is better. Um, but I, I kind of liked using just the, the microphone on there because I wanted you to hear the water that's going on and hear, hear the cicadas. Hopefully they're not committing suicide today. And the birds and stuff. You know what I mean? Okay. All right. So, what? 
Sue White. Here, fishy, fishy, fishies. Sue White. How you doing today, guys? What's up? How you doing? Hey. Hey. I really think they like having their belly rub. Look at that. This is really, it still blows my mind away. Hey, what's up? All right, all right, all right. Here's something to eat, guys. <laughs> there you go. All right, guys. I will see you later. Hope you're having a great day.